Well, tonight we now know the man who died in yesterday's Garland District shooting was 42 year old Joshua Payne. The man police arrested for shooting and killing him is now facing first degree murder charges. Our Nicole Hernandez was at district court this afternoon where he had his first appearance. Joshua Payne's family filled the courtroom this afternoon for Caleb Carter's first appearance. And your name is Caleb and Carter, correct? Yes, Your Honor. Carter pleaded not guilty. Before the judge set his bond, Payne's family read a statement. The victim's family, they're all here, and they just wanted to express that the victim was extremely loved, and for therefore they would like a very high bond amount. Ultimately, the judge set Carter's bond at $5 million, a bond request he says is unusually high. New court documents in the case say Caleb Carter confessed to the shooting to police on scene. They say at about 5.30 Thursday morning, Carter cut off another car while driving and stopped in the road. This is surveillance video of that. Witnesses say both drivers got out of their cars looking like they were going to fight. The witness told officers one man started running away, and that's when Carter started shooting at him. When police got there, Carter was giving the man medical help and told police he was the shooter. Police took over the medical aid, but Payne was pronounced dead just before 6 a.m. Payne's wife told police he was likely on his way to work that morning when this happened. I talked to Payne's family in court today. They didn't want to be on camera, but say he was an amazing man, husband, and dad. This GoFundMe is online right now, raising money to help the family. In the description, it says he was born and raised here in Spokane and was a generous, loving person. In Spokane, Nicole Hernandez, Crime 2 News.